have you got everything? Got everything. I've got my teddy bear, got my pajamas, got a swimsuit, got a spare change of clothes, got my underwear. Did I've you say toothbrush? Toothbrush, I've got my teddy bear, and I've got some art supplies. I've got everything. <laughs> so you basically I'm have got like everything you own in there. <laughs> Bye Sienna. Have a nice Bye. time. I if you need anything I can come and get you. Yeah, okay. Yeah? But you're gonna have a good time. <laughs> yeah, I will. Love you. Bye. Bye Sienna, have a great time. And I bought ice cream too. Bye. Love you. What's good Fizz fam? Good evening. It's actually evening time. We don't usually start the vlogs in the evening, but little Sienna has just gone on a kind of unplanned um, sleepover. Hadn't she, Koa? Her friend came round and asked if she could go for a sleepover, didn't she? So we said yes. I don't know if Sienna really knows what she's let herself in for. Do you think she'll be all right? I don't know. She's never really had a sleepover before, has she? Like, she hasn't ever slept away from us. Yeah. But because her friend's going away on Monday, like, she's just desperate to spend last time with her. Yeah. Like, a last bit of time, because that's her friend who um, is going back to Brazil, and she leaves for six months, and they're leaving on Monday. So Sienna's just got this last little bit of time to spend with her. So I feel like that's why she's not like that worried about leaving us. I think uh, basically yeah. she loves the girl. They're like best friends and they've been spending every single day together. Going what do you to think car. about it all, Koa? Do you miss Nen already? By the way, you've just got up on the table so quickly. <laughs> careful, mate. Be careful. You're like a proper cheeky toddler, aren't you? You're a proper cheeky toddler. <laughs> you cheeky toddler. Really Is Koa nice. a cheeky toddler? <laughs> <laughs> No, what did you say? No, I think you are a cheeky toddler, mate. You are, aren't you? You're very cheeky. You're the naked handyman, aka cheeky toddler, aka yeah. cute cover, aren't you? King cover. Yeah, king cute, cover. Cute king cover. That's a really nice family she's going to be staying with, and they said that they're going to get her vegan burger, and they've made loads of rice and quinoa, and she's brought some mochi for them as well, some vegan mochi. So I'm sure she's going to have a nice time, but I do feel a little bit like. I don't know, a little bit worried about her. You might have noticed we've had a few little upgrades here. We went out for a beach day today, and then we got back, and oh, the owner of the house has added all these things. I know, they're beautiful, aren't they? I feel like the place looks amazing as it is, but like every month, the lady keeps buying new, more and more new things for the house. Co is not that keen on them, though. When he sits on them, he nearly falls out of the back. Ah, yeah, yeah there's a big he sat on it when we got back. But loads of you guys asked on Instagram where we got that coffee table from in the living room. It's a bit similar to this one, I'll show you. Loads of you have asked. But I think it's handmade here in Costa Rica. So I don't know if you can get it anywhere else in the world like the UK. But this is a piece of wood with, um, what do you call this, resin on it, Darren? Yeah. And it looks a bit like a... Like a it looks a like lagoon. a big crystal, doesn't a it? A crystal or like a lagoon. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Or like the cenotes in Cen Mexico. Yeah, it really does. But that's the coffee table you have to be careful of if you sit on it. <laughs> my turn now, my <laughs> Fizz fan, we've gave our garage a little bit of a mini makeover. We've created loads of space for our new bikes now. Sienna's obviously taken hers and looks like Nia's gone off on her bike. I thought she skated, but she's taken a new bike. Hopefully she, you saw what she was like in her bike last time, didn't you Fizz fam? She couldn't even turn around, so I hope she's not smashing it up, Darren. Mia, I've got to admit, you seem a little bit more unsteady than Sienna does. Right, it's been like five years since I rode a bike. Okay? <laughs> but yeah, last time guys, can you remember when we had some of the handy men, not, not this handy man, not the naked handy man, the real big grown up ones. They came to see if we could get a washing machine plumbed in and you probably saw that we had a lot of clutter in here. It still looks quite cluttery, but we've cleared out some of the things today. We've given away the high chair to this lady who lives nearby and um, she's gonna give it to her sister who's had a baby, but we've had to bring in loads of the outdoor um, soft furnishings. So that's why there's loads of pieces of foam and cushions in here because it's rainy season and it'll go mouldy if it's in the garden. So I feel like we need to give this a proper makeover so we maybe we can keep you updated. Darren wants to get a load of metal shelves here, don't you? Yeah, it's just that ongoing dilemma, obviously, because we haven't built the house yet. So it's like, how many things do we get for this rental yeah. house? But we need a way to store all these types of things. Also, yeah. you'll notice that actually the washing machine is still not plumbed yeah. in yet. So I don't yeah. know when they're going to come back. They said that. they were going to come like was the, next day. The, they next were day, come the next but, day. the next day, but they didn't. But yeah. that, that's what it's like in Costa Rica. There's like pura vida time, so next day could mean next month, and that's just like standard here. Like in the UK, like you, next day means next day, but here, you know, they're just like chilling, aren't they? Yeah. They're having a great time. So yeah, I guess like things like that aren't important. I think that's what the pura vida mindset is. Is like just don't like worry or stress about things like it's something you know if you want to enjoy life you just enjoy it and you don't like you know stress about stuff look at Koa 
Door. Door, yeah, well done. He loves saying door. He actually said a two syllable word the other day, toilet. Yeah, he did. He said toilet, Kawa. He said, I just had a door slam. Karma waking up from, from her nap. Oh, maybe it's the breeze. <laughs> Again, he's going. Yeah, I quickly pressed record, yeah. Just in case. <laughs> well, because in Mexico, I don't think we managed to get that on camera, did we? No, uh, but no. you had to go here in Costa Rica on one of those balance boards, didn't you? Yeah, oh no. That didn't end well. Whoa, are you all right? Yeah, and in Mexico, I tried to have a go on a skateboard and I was on the floor straight away, wasn't I? I do want to skateboard, I do. I can't see myself not skateboarding, but I just don't know when. I feel a bit clumsy because I'm still not getting good sleep at night, so I sort of feel a little bit like my brain's not firing up properly, but can you give me any tips now? Now, mate, this is how you learn. I mean, that one really flexes because it's a penny board. It feels um, quite slippery. So I think they're plastic, so don't stand in the middle. Stand, oh, like, just inside of the screen. Am I doing it right? Do you practice by doing that? Or am I meant to put two feet on it? Mm, no. I mean, it's not exactly like I'm a professional, is it? Well, I'm gonna try and put two feet on it. Should really have all the helmet on and that, shouldn't I really? I was talking to me about Can you hear loads of pots and pans? Because, oh no, it's all right. Yeah, <laughs> I thought he was getting all the pots and pans out, look. Go on, mate, you can do it. Is it gonna go off the edge? Well done, look at that steering. Look at that, mate. What do I think? Like on the vlog, you probably notice me going, ah, ah, and you're like wondering why. It's because she's running my toes over. Careful. Have you seen where Karma is? Nope. She went for an afternoon nap, but she's still napping right now, isn't she? Yeah. I think she's really tired from the beach. Because the babysitter's been looking after a lot of the day, she's been having so much fun that she's not having a daytime nap. So I feel like she's really tired, isn't she? Bless her. Yeah, catching but up. But she has so much fun in the week, doesn't she? Oh, Darren, check you out. Look at you. You can skate. Come on, look at your daddy. Look at him. Oh, you always say that you can't skate shot. and you can. Well, I know the basics, yeah, but I'm just saying I don't actually do it. This you look good on it. It looks attractive. Oh, look at Curry. He's in flower mode again. This is what he loves doing. He loves flowers. Aww. Oh, oh, oh. 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 How is he my son? Like, how? what did I do to deserve him? Because he's singing about flowers. And giving it to me. <laughs> that is adorable, Koa. He was so adorable. Got a little bean pod there. <laughs> That's a proper vegan there, eating the bean pod. We should get the basketball out. I love these really nice warm evenings. Look at the sky. I know, look at it. It's glowing. I don't know if it really shows up on camera, but it's like one of those really nice balmy evenings. Nice and warm, but not too hot. Doing a weather update again, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> it's because it's been raining so much. Really nice. It's actually been sunny again all day today, Fizz Fam, so we had a nice beach day. Yeah, we realised how much really it lifted evening. our mood. How it was sunny. Oh, it made yeah. you feel oh, like... man, honestly. Makes you want to be active. It makes and... such a difference. When the sun's shining, you just feel so motivated and just full of life, don't you? It's yeah, amazing. yeah, it's important, isn't it? Do you want to play basketball, Koa? Okay, we're going to do... If you can oh. shot it, I'll buy it, OK? Hey! Here you go. I'll get you a Lamborghini if you can get it in the hoop. <laughs> go. Three tries. Yeah. Sorry, missed. He ran off. Sorry. Look at him. No go Where's right. he going? Right, Lambo, ready? He, he's up to something. Come on, come on, Lambo. <gasps> oh. No Lambo. When Cohen looks at me like that and he runs off, I know he's up to something cheeky. The big one, no, yeah. No, I don't know if they get that. Mia and Sinner don't really like the babies playing with the skateboards, no. do they? Well, he's got clothes on. It's because normally he just does the naked handyman all the time, doesn't he? Yeah, I, right. Mia and Sinner have really told me off for this. I let Co and Karma play their skateboards because they want to and it keeps them amused. But then when they're having nappy free time, it often has been the case that they've pooed on their skateboards. <laughs> and Mia and Sinner went nuts at me because I allowed that to happen. Well, I didn't, I didn't let them. It just happened without me knowing. You've got a nappy on so they don't mind, do they? Oh, I missed! I missed! Did you get it? No, I didn't. Let's oh. pretend I did. Yeah, I got the Lambo. <laughs> oh, look at you. you. Wake up. You're straight back on your bike. It's actually getting dark, Karma. It's almost time for like proper bedtime. So you had a very, very long afternoon nap today, didn't you? Catching up. Yeah. Did you have a nice sleep? Mm -hmm. Mum moving my skateboard. Mum being cheeky. <laughs> Mum's being cheeky.
What don't you use the bigger skateboard? Ah, uh, Koa's already got one out. This feels huge in comparison. Is that a good foot position? A little bit further forwards. That? Yeah, that's it. Watch out, Koa. Just don't go over the screws. Just go. Sorry for like pro skaters, all you skaters watching and thinking, what am I going on about? I'm just. Just sharing my amateur knowledge. Oh, look, he's standing up. He's, whoa, careful, mate, careful. Whee, well done. Well done, you did it. Now you think you're swimming. You're going, you're good. Right, it's nearly bedtime. Come on, the mosquitoes are coming out, Koa. Let's go have some porridge and go to bed, yeah? <laughs> Come on, this way, this way. Sounds like some sort of techno party going on out here, but listen. <laughs> Can you hear it? Come on. Yeah. It's making music, isn't it? Uh huh. Because <laughs> it's broken. Uh huh. Dance, Koa. Because it's broken. He always holds up to his ear, yeah, bless him. Oh, look. Imagine sitting out here. The thing is, though, there's so many mosquitoes at the moment, but look, you sit out here and you've got those lovely lights on the trees. Crazy, isn't it? But I'm here. Yeah, the new, yeah the new chair is coming. Oh, nice, aren't they? Mm -hmm. How did it go on your bike? Good! Yeah. I did just take a bike, just took a boy to skip like one minute away. Oh, okay. And I, I did go up the road and I was like going around the roundabout just to practice to get used to like turning it because it's kind of feels a bit awkward. You know? Yeah, I did think about you trying to turn it. Yeah, I was like practicing. All right, two in one piece, so that's good then. Yeah, two in one piece. Oh, Sin is not here tonight. What? Sin is having a sleepover. Yeah. Oh. I know. I, I said to Sienna, I said to Sienna, I was like, are this you going like to cry? She's only ever had a sleepover with like Danny Grandin's, which is yeah, really good. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, so, I feel so. I know. It's like a sleep sad thing. I was then going to go and check my phone because like, her mum's been messaging me. We've been communicating about the sleepover. And I said if um, Sienna gets a bit upset or like misses us, then to message. So I'm just gonna go and I then plug my phone in to check. Oh, I have got one message. Oh no, it's just an emoji with heart <laughs> eyes and it was a oh, reply to the good. mochi, so everything's fine. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, that's so. Really good, I'm happy for her. No, I'm really happy for her as well, yeah. but it just feels a little bit like, she's perfectly fine there. The family are really, really nice, so that's not Is the issue. Is it the two girls? Yeah, but it's yeah, just that she's but really sweet. It's just that she might get homesick, that's what I'm just yeah. worried about. Aww. She'll probably have a late night as well. Oh, she's gonna have loads of fun. Yeah. Hi. There she is. Wow. Hello, mate. Please sleepover. That is amazing. What happened? Did you cry? No, I didn't cry. <laughs> Did, Did you, you miss her? No. Did you have a nice time, though? I had a great time, yeah. Um, there oh. was like a lot, lots of kids who came, and we, oh, there was like a nice. mini party in the evening. Aww. And then there was like loads of fun games with balls and then there was like card games as well. And then we had the sleepover and we watched a film. It's really fun. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Then in the morning we created a spa and then we did our nails. Oh, they're pretty. I yeah. love them. Oh, Sienna, so you did miss us then. You had a good time. I mean, I did miss you, yeah. Well, oh. But it was funny because I kept on feel, feeling like I heard the babies and you and Dad talking. We missed you, but I knew you were having an amazing time. Oh, yeah. I knew that you were going to be okay. But is that the last time you're going to see a friend then? And yeah, to she's go to leaving Brazil? tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. At least you got to spend that last time with her. Yeah. Didn't you? Carmen missed you. She's been going on about you all morning. She's like, Sid is going to come home now. Look, Cara. Cara wants to go to sleepover, don't you, Cara? Cara was actually thinking about moving out. He missed you so oh, much. Look, he packed his suitcase. <laughs> Older, Karma. Yeah, I had one earlier in England when I was six. Did she have a sleepover before? No, I don't think you have. No, no I had one around her house. The Greek girl, you know the Greek girl in England. You didn't sleep there. No, you didn't have a sleepover. You just went around it for dinner. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. yeah, you haven't yeah. ever had a sleepover before. That's I must say the house was very nice and peaceful, actually. <laughs> don't you guys agree? It was so peaceful. No, but it was, I did actually know. It was like it's I feel like it's quieter than usual. <laughs> Just set from Nanny and Grandad's with Mia. Yeah. And I think you've set that Harriet's with Mia. Yeah. But like, that doesn't count, that's not it's a sleepover. You've stayed at families and you were with Mia, but you've never slept yeah. at somebody else's house on your own. 
Yeah. So it's a big, um, big deal, Sienna. Yeah. This fam, I was just saying to Sienna how she's covered some big milestones lately. Yeah, I have. Like just recently, she learned to ride a bike for the first time, yeah. and she overcame her fear, and she didn't fall off. You mm -hmm. managed to balance. Mm -hmm. And and you you know you got over your fear, didn't you? Yeah, I did. And then also, Sienna's always been quite sensitive her whole life, haven't you? About staying in other people's houses. When she was yeah. younger, if I used to take her around somebody like Auntie Harriet, I used to. <laughs> I all I had to do was just start knocking on her door, and your bottom lip would go. Because sometimes I wanted to go to the gym and Harry used to ask the baby to sit Sienna and get to spend time with her and used to cry. Aww. But once she got in there and Harry's playing with you, she was alright, but it's just like you were a bit, I don't know, you wanted to be with mummy and daddy. Yeah. You've basically only slept around nanny and granddad with Mia, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Without um, me and daddy, or you've slept yeah. around auntie Harry's, but it doesn't really care. Or like people have came to our house. Can they help yeah. What do you want the help with? This. What, what? Where are you going? I'm going to Mexico. You're going to Mexico, are you? Mm -hmm. See? Mama! Carmen's not worried about having a sleepover. Mama! She's only three years old and she wants to go to Mexico on her own. <laughs> Fizz fam, I feel like we should probably address why there's loads of suitcases in the room because you might yeah, actually think, yeah. especially with Karma saying, I'm going to Mexico. We're not going to Mexico, <laughs> but... So you know how we said everything grows really easily here? Like everything, fruits, veg, in including mold. So mold literally grows everywhere. I found it on hats, I've, we found it on our clothes, and I'm talking things what are literally on a cycle where they go through the wash like every three days or whatever. They'll be in your closet for three days and you'll pull it out and if the closet hasn't been aired out properly, there's so, mold, isn't there? Guys, if we're gonna be like, show you some of the realities of living in a tropical country, so you probably think, oh wow, I'd love to move to a tropical country. Sounds amazing, yes it is, but there are lots of cons as well. So throughout the next year or so, we're probably going to keep giving you little updates so in case you want to pack up your life where you are, somewhere in the world, and come and move to a tropical country. There are some things you do have to contend with, don't you girls? Yeah. Yes, my leggings. Or how about that weird creepy bug that was on the kids' little play tent? Oh, so you know Can what's you remember here? that? You weren't here, but my, basically yesterday I went in my drawer, there were some leggings which I haven't worn in like three weeks. I go to get them to wear them and then um, they're covered in more. Her Lulu Lemon leggings. They're I know they? They're covered they in more. I love those ones. I know. It's well, washed off. Mum's washed them and it's mm. come off, thank goodness. So yeah, Fizz fam, I showed you yesterday. Uh, yeah, I showed you yesterday um, how we gave our garage like a little clean up. What we've basically done is just taken some of the things out of there. And just <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, no, you don't. Come on. I was playing with it. Yeah, okay, so I was playing with it at the moment. I had, I had to give the outside a wipe down, but inside they smell really fresh. They don't smell like you know that sort of spicy smell. So I'm going to be putting them into our closet, and I'll just. But there was mold on the outside, wasn't there? Mold yeah, I on the handles. I wiped the outside. There's mold on the handles of of those suitcases, and then also on this yeah. baby carrier backpack. On this All part that. here. There was mold on. I'm going to show the Fizz fam some of the things what we're doing. So the builder of these houses, he recommended to get a dehumidifier for the closets. So what we've got is this, and I turn it on every single day, and it draws all the moisture out of the air, and it's just to prevent all of our things from going mouldy. But what is hilarious, you're not going to believe, believe it, at the end of the day, I have to take this out, and this whole unit here is full of water and I have to drain it into the sink and fill it up again. But this whole bucket fills up with water. It blows my mind. So that's how much moisture is in the air. And because we're in the rainy season, that's when there's like, how I think the humidity goes up to like literally 100. 100, yeah. 100%. So if we're sweaty in our videos or my hair's frizzy, that, that is why. But then in dry season, it sort of balances out a bit. But I did say though, in, when it's the, in the UK, sometimes people have to buy humidifiers for their rooms, don't they? To put moisture back in because the central heating dries it all up. So this is going to be a lifesaver for all of our clothes. Did you go to bed late, Sienna? Because you do actually seem super tired. What time did you go to bed? 11. 11? 11. Mm -hmm. Wow. I feel like me and Dad went to bed before 11, didn't we? And that yeah. was I went late to bed at like 9. <laughs> yeah, and that was like a late weekend night as well, I went wasn't to bed it? Yeah. At 9. You went to bed at 9? <laughs> yeah. No, you didn't. You went to bed about half 6. What did you do then, Sienna? Were you having well, pillow fights? 
<laughs> no, we weren't having pillow fights. Actually, we stayed up for like an hour just talking. We what watched... did nine-year-olds talk about? Well, we were telling stories um, and then like made up stories. And then um, and then we were talking about plans for ideas, what we could like um, make. And then like things like if you could do anything in the world, what would you do? Oh. What would you do if you could do anything in the world? Create magic and give everybody in the whole world um, like a piece of magic. What do you mean by a piece of magic? Well, like I would give them magic so they could do whatever they wanted. Okay. Wow. Okay. Deep. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> what film did you watch then, Sienna? We watched Dumbo. Mia, what do you call this? It was an accident. I was just, just the just put on a prank on No, that was actually an accident, right? We, we always do pranks like this where we give each other big spoons. That, this time was actually an accident. Uh, it was an accident. Me so much. Mia, because I'm feeding her and Mia kindly went and got me some more food. I want some seconds. And then she's brought back this ginormous spoon. What are you trying to say, Mia? I've got a big mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Bobby. oh yes, Sian, I, I really want to ask you something in front yeah. of the Fizz fam. Mm -hmm. What is coming up soon? My know, birthday. Your birthday. Mm -hmm. And yes. Sienna is going to be hosting a sleepover at Hertz, at this house, aren't you, Sienna, yeah. with your friend? Yeah. I'm you excited. excited. Yeah, you're yeah, excited. I'm, excited. I'm sad, because she's going to be double digit. I know, because Sienna's no, birthday excited. is on a Thursday in the week. Like a happy sad. She's going to be having her birthday party and the sleepover at the weekend, so all her friends can come still. Less than a month. Less than a month. I think it's literally like two weeks away. Yeah, literally. Two weeks, two weeks Sienna, and you're going to be ten. I know. That's going to be my birthday. Yeah, oh. yeah. Like eight months off, but sure. <laughs>